So today I'm on my laptop and I just installed Manjaro and I'm using KDE and I'm going to show you how I use KDE and how I configure KDE. By default, this is how uh, KDE looks uh, inside Manjaro. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, there's a menu at the bottom. Uh, there's uh, the file manager. It's Dolphin, there's two uh, workspaces configured and there's this menu here. Uh, it's pretty okay, I don't have any problem with it, but uh, uh, one of the things that I like to use is tiling on my windows. Uh, and this is like a vanilla uh, menu here, so let's start moving things around. So the first thing I normally do is uh, move things around on this panel, this default panel. So we, we do edit, edit panel and we pick it up and put it at the top because I, I normally like my, my bar to go at the top. The other thing that I normally remove is the task manager. I just remove it and keep it in the space. I could also configure already the um, pager here so no, for now let's keep it that way okay so let's uh, edit panel again put this on that side this onto that side as well this go here this go here okay that's good remove this and the sep second thing i do i go into system settings and then desktop plasma style and normally i use i think this is okay Actually, let me just remove this and global team. This is what I want. The global team, I just use the default that comes with KDE. Okay, so the dark one. Okay, that's good. The plasma style, I keep the one that is configured by default. You can even go with this one. I don't know. Actually, this one, let's use this one. And application style, this is okay. Window decorations, this is okay for now, but I'll be, we'll be going into this again. The icons, I go with the Manjaro ones. And the cursors, normally I go with KDE Classic. Or something like this yes i like this more okay so then after that virtual desktops i think that's the what they are called and there's two rows i normally just use one row so let's put it at one row and there's two desktops here, but normally I use way more. So I just change this to one dot W, two dot T, and I'll explain what this means in a bit. Okay. Uh, what was this one? It was F. Yeah, it's okay. And we'll just do six. Okay, so apply. So I have six desktops now. And okay, that's good. Screen edges. I did. I remove. 
this one and I remove this one and I keep just this one and this one will be desktop grid apply so I can do this and move between desktops but I want this to be like this and just like this apply so a lot more instant okay so that's good and then we go into our kwin in the decorations uh, kwin scripts okay and we're gonna get a new script and we need we will be going we'll be looking for tiling and it's basically this one this basically uh, puts your windows like dwm and this is exactly what we want so we install it close it and now we need to apply it okay so our windows are always in full screen and now we can go and remove all of this because we don't need it so just go into windows the de window decoration window decoration and we are using this one but we are going to change into this one apply and we're going to change some stuff in here we're going to add a rule and we're going to say that all dot all and we're gonna hide the title bar okay okay i think it's like this maybe okay okay so i don't have any title bar bars anymore okay so what else so i need to actually change some stuff here so configure this sorry let's configure the pager i want to show the desktop name okay okay and now we need to go into our um, uh, shortcuts so shortcuts and we go into the um, kwin look for desktop okay so we have switched to desktop one and we're going to change this to mod one yes switch to desktop two and this is going to be mod two desktop three more three and so on and so forth to our six desktops this is mod four mod five and mod six yes apply so now if I do this, I, I'm doing just windows and the number of the desktop that I want and I can change between them. Okay, so that's good. So normally, what are, are the letters that I'm putting here? So this is normally what I use for www. So for browsing. This is the one I use for settings. This is the one I use for file manager. This is the one I use for music. This is the one I use for development. And this is the one I use for terminals. And this is for browsing. So normally when I open a browser, I'll do just Firefox. And I'll have a browser open here. Okay, that's good. Always in full screen. A terminal, I can use, I can open my terminal here. Let's do Alacrity. Okay. And normally I open more than one, normally. So I have normally three and I can open them like this. So I have my windows here. 
okay so you can have them as many as you want but there's one more thing that I also need to add here so let's open the file manager here okay that's good so I can show this so I'll do edit panel add widget and let's say global menu and we'll be adding the global menu to there okay so if I close this and then open again and I have the global menu there okay so another thing that we need to change here are the shortcut to close windows so let's look into close but I want meta q yes apply so now I can close my windows with window quit that's what I use normally but there's another thing that I need to do so that this can be more noticeable like the window I have um, focused so to do that I just go and open the system preference again and then we'll go to window management this is the problem with KDE because there's so many stuff that you can oh it's desktop effects okay so we are looking for dim inactive so we want this apply so let's go into one that has it you see the difference now this one is active this one is active now because I clicked on it okay that's good okay so what what else do we need to we have our windows there's a couple of more shortcuts that I normally uh, like to do like I normally have a shortcut to open uh, my browser that is not here so I just had Firefox here okay and Firefox new window this will be mod B apply so if I'm here and I do mod B I have another Firefox window okay that's good I can quit them with mod Q quit this one as well okay so what else on the shortcuts uh, there's also one that I also need to okay win okay so let's look for the move between windows we can also do this one uh, to window to desktop but I normally what I do is just go here and move the window here so for that I normally use my mouse so this is important so switch one desktop to the left and one desktop to the right so we need this so we do control mod left and control mod right apply so now we can move between desktops like this okay and we also need the window move between windows so move window okay so this is the one switch to window above below left and right so this normally what I do is just so this is the um, above so just mod up apply below is just mod down apply left is just mod left apply and right is just mod right and apply apply so now if I go here and I open like uh, a few terminals so let's open alacrity 
and let's have three terminals this way so if I do mod left right I can just move between my windows so this is one thing that I like a lot so I can do this and move between desktops and like this I can move between windows and my windows are always in full screen and my desktops are always visible and I also know that in my second desktop also has always has my terminals the first one will have my browser the third one will have my music so let's open rhythm or no this one is for development so normally I have um, like something like sublime open for instance the fourth one will have my music so let's move this one from here to here this one will have something like rhythm box but I don't have rhythm box uh, here so music let's say cantara I haven't even used it yet okay but in this one we'll have the file so dolphin and normally I have my dolphin with this view and I have actually two instances of uh, dolphin open and this is the settings that I normally have opened so this is how I use my um, KDE it's pretty simple there's not many extensions just the one I just use the one that makes it work like a tiling window manager but it has all the features that KDE provides so that's it that's how I like it and I hope you enjoy this I hope uh, someone find it useful and from this point forward if you see me like move around on my videos you know how I configured things to um, work it like this I hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider uh, subscribing and giving it a like and if you have any doubts about it just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer all your questions thank you